Chibi Cyrus isn't real. He can't hurt you. Chibi Cyrus isn't real. He can't... Welcome back everyone, we've got a brand new short and sweet trailer for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl as well as some more confirmations from Legends Arceus to talk about today. Mainly just the official announcement of Hazuian Zoroark and Zoroa being normal ghost type and we get to see them in game. And as you already saw from the intro, we finally have the confirmation of Chibi Cyrus. I didn't want to believe he was real, but now I just can't deny that is the scariest Pokemon villain of all time. Alongside this new trailer, we've also got some more pre-order bonuses coming, with the main one kind of making a splash on the internet being the addition of the Pokemon Platinum outfits as part of the character customization. I would love to see styles that reference past designs like the bundled up winter jackets from Platinum or a Giratina themed fit similar to that ridiculous Coma O costume from Alola. After all my whining for some Platinum features to be included, it looks like they're finally listening. Although these outfits are only obtainable as an early purchase bonus. You can see on the website, the game comes out November 19th, but as long as you buy it before February 21st of next year, you can receive the Platinum style outfit in game through Mystery Gift. So just to be clear, you don't need to pre-order it. You just need to purchase the game before February to get these new outfits, as well as a couple of other bonuses you can see. There is the Manaphy Egg, a couple Quick Balls, and 200 Pokeballs! Oh my god! <laughs> I think I'm good with just the Manaphy Egg and the Platinum outfits, which you can get as long as you buy the game before February 21st for Manaphy as well. So both Manaphy and the Platinum outfits, as long as you buy the games before February, you can get it for free basically uh, through the Mystery Gift. I say basically free because you're still buying the game, obviously, but just buy it before February and you can get yourself these nice little bonuses. I really wish I could get this Nintendo Switch Lite. Yep, there it is. R.I.P. The Dream. Alongside these announcements, we've got a brand new trailer for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, short and sweet at two and a half minutes. And I feel that this might just be the final trailer before release unless they've really got something crazy right before it drops, but I'm expecting big announcements in this one, okay? If there's no Battle Frontier, if there ain't no Mega Evolutions, I will be severely disappointed. Let's check it out! Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl! News! Ooh, it's Candice! And Volkner! And Cyrus! You already know it's coming because I showed it in the intro, but we've got the final two gym leaders of Sinnoh and the... Just had to confirm real quick because I thought that they actually changed the puzzle. I mean, they slightly did change it. So it doesn't really matter which version this is. It's, it's basically the same thing. You slip and slide up to Candice, the seventh gym leader. Look at her. I'm not going to say anything. Just It's just Candice. She's nice. Like ice. And a bomb of snow! Whoa! I like how there's actually little snowdrops falling, because of course snow warning ability. And then the Sunny Shore Gym. Yeah, same old puzzle. Volkner, uh, looking a little extra Lego-like. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> there's the Volkner I know and love. Man, he just looks so much cooler. Not in chibi form, and uh, he's not going to be the last character that we'll feel that way about, because next up, we got some very jazzy music going on as we're in i believe eterna city right now that's where uh team galactic's first hq is at and here we got some more galactic music which interestingly enough isn't like the meaty version we heard in the last video i did so maybe it really was just placeholder all along although i'd still hope that they have some kind of like retro sound playing device so you can switch between this and like the classic music that was always nice to have, like the option in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. But no, oh my God, there he is, Chibi Cyrus. He's real, and he can very much hurt you. <laughs> okay, obviously he looks much more badass in his full-grown size with the Weavile coming out. That's not a very good matchup for Lucario, or I mean, other way around. Like Weavile's gonna get hit. Uh, the legendary Pokemon slumber beneath Sinnoh's lake. Ooh, you love that Lake Verity music. Or just all of the lakes, Acuity, whatever it is. 
as we've got Mesprit, the first Lake Guardian, Azul, and... And... Yuxi! I don't like that one, actually, but... Th that's it, wow. Obviously, I was being sarcastic earlier, like, we're, we're not getting to Battle Frontier. We finally saw Chibi Cyrus, dude. I still can't believe it. They really did this. <laughs> How can he breathe, though? I don't know why a part of me is still holding out hope that they're hiding something in the post game. Because Diamond and Pearl's post game, like, at least compared to Platinum, I feel wasn't that eventful. I mean, there is some of the same stuff, like, in the fight area or the battle zone in general, that island. They got the Platinum outfits in there, so now there's, like, that 1% chance of hope that maybe they're listening that's about all the brilliant diamond pearl news we got but there is a even shorter legends arceus announcement or rather confirmation that hizuian zorua and zorork are indeed normal and ghost type the first of their kind and we got a little bit of gameplay of them so let's take a look at that real quick we got a very snowy area probably near the peak of mount coronet and Hisuian Pokemon, yes, that, that is what they are. I mean, more specifically, it's Hisuian Zorua. Normal and ghost type, the spiteful fox Pokemon. Looks so cute, man. What, what is up with those menacing wisp? Kind of like Jojo or something. <laughs> Dio! Oh no, it's Zorok! Another normal and ghost type. Did you guys hear that? Hold up, I'm gonna need an instant replay because I'm pretty sure our character just screamed. Okay, I mean, I, I feel like maybe we'd seen that before, but I didn't notice. Our character actually has a voice and that's literally it. January 28th, so we've got a while to get both of these games. I mean, the pre-order bonuses are all the way until February 21st, so even a month after Legends Arceus is out, you could still buy Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl and get all those nifty little bonuses. Which, speaking of, there's also some bonuses for Legends Arceus. If we scroll down here on the website, you will see the Baneful Fox Mask is now a thing. Obviously, a reference to Hisuian Zorork, and we do know there is character customization in this game as well. It takes place in the past. I didn't expect there to be different clothing, but there definitely is. And you can get a couple of early purchase outfits, not just the Zorork mask, but also the Hisuian Growlithe Kimono set, which had been announced for a while now, but I don't think I really ever talked about it. So as long as you buy the game before May 9th, even longer than Brilliant Diamond and Pearl. You got a whole like three months after release date or four months. Oh, apparently you can get 30 heavy balls if you pre-order the digital version of Legends Art. Why is it only digital, man? I get most people buy digital games now, but I still like having the little physical box. Like why can't I get my heavy balls in there? I mean, while we're here though, we might as well talk about some leaks or at least one very specific image that has leaked recently. People are speculating this might be some kind of new form like Primal Arceus in the Legends game, which would be pretty cool as like a final boss. You know, Arceus just on its own is already pretty formidable. I mean, he is the Pokemon with the highest base stat total. As long as you don't count Mega Evolutions or Eternamax Eternatus, which has over a thousand base stat, Jesus, dude. Arceus is only the 8th strongest Pokemon. That doesn't seem very godlike, so could this be a new Arceus form? I mean, it definitely could be, but this could also be just a cutscene. Like, the first time you see Arceus, it, like, phases itself onto the screen with the glow or something. But it's much more fun to imagine or speculate that this is mid-transformation and Arceus is gonna have some kind of new godlike ultra instinct Mangekyo Sharingan form. What do you guys think though? Is this the final Brilliant Diamond and Pearl trailer or could we maybe get one last little teaser right before the games drop like we had for the Delta episode with Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire which dropped literally a week before these games released. November 13th we got the Delta episode trailer so maybe a week before Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl we'll get one final trailer with some really crazy reveal like Battle Frontier or some kind of new post-game episode. I know the hopes are high, perhaps a little too high, but that's just how I fly.